What's going on guys? Alex here with 814EC and I got one more unboxing to do for you guys on my Sunday night extravaganza of unboxings. Um, so my last two videos that I just filmed, I did unboxings of these two line steel fixed blades that I got in from the Black Widow Pass Around Group. And then I did an unboxing of the new Steel Wheel Spica from the Apex Pass Around Group. So those both wore, or were Pass Around Group knives. And then this knife, that I'm unboxing is a knife that I bought for myself. So this is coming from Olight, and this is the first O knife that I have uh, experienced. Um, unboxing knife is again the Voxnez F5.5. Love this knife. You guys have heard it in every video so far. Absolutely killer of a knife. Um, but yeah, so this is the first O knife that I've uh, bought and I've wanted to try. That's a lie. Well, not really a lie, but it is a lie. So if you guys are aware of O, not, or, excuse me. If you guys are aware of Olight, you are familiar with how they started selling knives probably, I wanna say late summer, early fall. Um, you know how they do you know, big sales, usually once a month or so. Um, they always do big holiday sales. And sometimes if there's a big stretch between holidays, they'll do sales in between. Um, and they have come out with, I believe their first knife was the, I think it was the Drever. And then they came out with the Splint. And then I think the most recent two were the Parrot and the Beagle. And they came out with the Parrot and the Beagle during the Thanksgiving holiday sale or the Black or, uh, Black Friday sale. I almost said Black Widow. Um, it was like Thanksgiving, Black Friday, kind of an all together type of sale. And um, the Beagle was one that I was really kind of drawn to. It was just kind of a simple drop point, uh, but it had a harpoon style blade. Just very simple, you know, very utilitarian. But to me, it was the, you know, the best looking knife they've done so far. Uh, the Drever didn't look too bad. It was, but it was kind of meh. Um, the Splint was okay, but you know, again, kind of meh. And the Parrot was like a really short knife that I wasn't super interested in. I don't think I'm forgetting any, any other models that they've done. Uh, they did like a little night claw, like a little neck knife type thing, but I'm not really counting that as a knife. Uh, so I was really close to buying the Beagle for um, during the Black Friday Thanksgiving sale. Uh, but I just, I held off because I was, I was buying a lot of Christmas presents uh, around that time because of Black Friday, of course, different things like that. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't need the knife. It's fine. You know, I'll just wait. Uh, maybe some other time I'll pick it up. And flash forward to beginning of last week, I think, or beginning of this week, I saw that they were doing like a little Christmas sale and they came out with the Beagle in uh, green, olive, or olive green uh, micarta instead of like the G10 they were using. And, I, and it was a satin blade instead of a, a DLC blade. Because the first was G10, black G10 scan, uh, scales with a DLC blade. This one is olive green micarta with a satin blade. And I was like, okay, that's too good to pass up. Uh, the knife itself was like 62 bucks. And then they're also running a deal. They have the um, I1R EOS Pro, I think is how you pronounce it. Their newest like little keychain flashlight and like a really, really pretty deep red. And you could get that for like five bucks. So all together it was like 68 bucks. And then I found a $10 coupon and I got, so I got both of them for like 60 bucks. I don't think the flashlight's in here. I can't feel it. They must've shipped that separately. So this will just be the knife, I believe. Um, yeah, I finally picked one up. I thought 60 bucks for a knife and a flashlight was a hell of a deal. Um, you know, the knife seemed to have good materials and it's made by Kaiser. So that was another reason I figured I'd try one finally. But without further ado, we're almost four minutes into this thing and you guys have not seen the knife yet. So I'm sure that you're gonna get the typical comments. You know, show the knife, whatever. So yeah, just the knife in here. I kinda wish it was a flashlight. I don't know why they shipped them separately, but you know, it is what it is. So here is the packaging. Um, very sort of uh, similar to how Olight packages their flashlights, which I really like. But there you can see is O knife, Beagle, limited edition. Uh, it is a liner lock and has a puck clip. Well, I would hope it, have a, it has a puck clip. Um, Olight Beagle. Olight Beagle, or O knife Beagle, sorry. So yeah, we'll break into this. You just gotta just push it out of the sleeve see if it has anything on the back. So features, it has a 154 cm blade, um, harpoons like design, micarta handle, compact size, um, blade length, I think it's like 3.3 inches, um, smooth and safe deployment, 
and high standards. So we'll see, we'll see how those standards keep up. Sorry guys, I've just been really thirsty during my videos. I keep getting like dry mouth. So here we have a knife. Um, and you can tell if you're in the knife world, a lot of their packaging looks like Kaiser. Um, so I kind of suspected that. And then I think it was their second knife run. Um, they confirmed it was made by Kaiser, which Kaiser is a good brand. I like, you know, the Kaiser knives that I have in my collection. And there's definitely a lot of other ones that are out there that I really would like to try. So we just pop this thing up. Has a little bit of a saying right here. Each O knife is finely tuned by hand and expertly engineered for the best possible performance. Stay sharp with your new knife, O knife team. So comes in a O knife pouch, but is I mean it's very very Kaiserist right here. And then down here you have some whoops. You have a little paperwork thing, which I'm assuming has a microfiber in it. Yes, it does. So. Microfiber. Oh, it's branded O knife. That's cool. A little branding there. Can never have too many microfibers. And then, of course, you just have the uh, you know pack of warranty stuff, different things like that. So we'll fold this thing back up and we'll try to shove it back in there. Yeah, I'll get it after the packaging. I've already taken enough of your guys' time. So, here we go, crack this baby open. Comes in some plastic. And here it is, guys. I'm super excited for this. I've uh, been, you know, I always get excited when I get new knives coming in, but um, I definitely have been looking forward to checking this out. So, here is the knife. Has some really nice micarta, very textured. Um, because some micartas you can get and they're very polished and not super textured, but uh, whatever micarta Kaiser has chose to go with is, I think it's very nice. Has some good feel to it. I like that all the hardware is blacked out. You can see the pivot, the screws back here are blacked out, the thumb stud, another thumb stud, and pocket clip. I really like the new pocket clips that Kaiser's going with. You know, very deep carry. That is, uh, screws are recessed into the. Uh, scale uh, dead centered feels you know it feels like it's gonna be a good size so we'll give it its first flick yeah okay feels pretty good I mean this knife is on bearings so there it says beagle uh, all this is an azo design which I think is an in-house designer for Kaiser which is cool you guys can see it right there uh, and then it says O knife and 154 cm This is a liner lock. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Um, it, this is like the perfect size for me, like three to like three and a quarter, somewhere in there. Um, fits really nicely. I have some have some jimping up here to, to play with. The harpoon style blade looks really cool, I think. I like harpoons a lot. It's decently thin behind the edge. Um, definitely not the thinnest that I felt. Uh, it's a flat grind, but not a full flat grind. Uh, you know, it's not super thin, but it's definitely not the thickest knife I've ever felt. We'll try, we'll try blade play. Yeah, so there's a little bit of wiggle of blade play. Uh, I might have to tune that up, but we'll see how it drops. Ooh, so really good action right off the bat. Uh, I mean, that could be from having a loose pivot because it is a little, like I said, there is a little bit of blade play. No blade rock, which is good, but a little bit of blade play. Um, but even if you get that pivot tuned up and, or tightened up, and even if I tune it, I feel like the action is still going to be really good. I mean, that's drop shot, you guys. We'll try lefty. Very good action. Middle finger flick. Comes right out of there. Yeah, I mean, I'm really liking the action, guys. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'll probably take this apart, clean it up, put some KPL on there, and lock tight the pivot to make sure it doesn't want to walk any farther. Um, and it's it's not a huge amount of blade play. Like I could carry this knife to work tomorrow, and I would be completely okay with having that little bit of blade play in there. But I like when my knives are you know nice and tight, have good tolerances. So yeah, I real that's nice, guys. Definitely a comfortable knife to use and carry. 
Um, the pot clip sticks up a little bit, but not not too bad. I can feel it in the palm of my hand, but you know, if you unless you like really wrench into it, you're not gonna you know feel it that be that agitating for you. Definitely cool looking knife, guys. Very simple, but just yet yeah, very, you know, utilitarian. And, but that a lot of the time, simple speaks to me. I like more simple knives than more extravagant and more like, sometimes I would prefer a nice simple knife over like a bougie knife. So obviously it depends on, you know, what knives you're comparing. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping the action can stay this good after I tune it up. Cause this thing is just super drop shutty. I mean, guillotine. Boop. So yeah, it's still dead centered. So alrighty guys, that was my unboxing of the new O knife Beagle in olive green micarta. That blade looks nice too. I mean, it seems like Kaiser does a really well, you know, really nice job with these. Um, I'm definitely impressed so far with the fit and finish and everything like that. Just need to tune up the the blade a little bit and we'll see we'll see how she sings then. So my full review will be coming within the next couple weeks. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for always, you know, supporting, always watching, always commenting. I know I say it at the end of every video, but I just really do from the bottom of my heart appreciate all you guys that make a notion to to like my videos, to comment. You know who you are. So just wanted to thank you guys again. I can never thank you guys enough for that. So Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.